This is the horoscope of Maria Montessori. I put her on right after Gandhi because the charts are similar. There is one-third of the space empty. Put your finger in the empty space and you go over here, Neptune again. Except uh, now Neptune is not in house number six, the house of work. It's in house number five, the house of children. And what's Maria Montessori famous for? For founding the Montessori system of education. And of course, uh, in her case, uh, the same as in Gandhi's, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not, just, uh, not just something that you do, it's, it's a cause. It's a total cause. Uh, again, uh, one third of the circle is empty. These people always put their own personal stamp on everything. Ford on the automobiles. Hilton on the hotels, Montessori on the education system, and Gandhi certainly put his stamp on India and nonviolence. Uh, Maria Montessori's chart, like Gandhi's, is open to the bottom. In Gandhi's case, he founded a ho uh, refounded a homeland. He Henry Ford, over to uh, over to the uh, right, founded a personal empire. Hilton, hotels, something solid, Earth. Uh, Gandhi, the same thing, something solid, foundation. Maria Montessori. Well, she found it all, well, the schools have to be in buildings, don't they? You know, solid foundations. Uh, the, the, if, you have, uh, if you have uh, a locomotive chart, your personal stamp is on everything. And again, you could become a myth figure if the planet that uh, happens to be Neptune. Neptune, the planet of dreams. Neptune, the planet of, uh, of ideals. Uh, always, always look to the entire horoscope, folks. Uh, what are the sun signs of all these people? It doesn't matter. All you have to do to start is recognize the shape of the chart, know what the planets mean. If you have a copy of your horoscope at home, take it out and follow along because we're going to get to a chart that's similar to yours eventually. Uh, let's take a look at the next horoscope. This is the horoscope of Bill Bradley. Now, in this case, uh, there's, uh, you know, uh, it's not a locomotive chart, it's the exact opposite. All the planets are included within one third of the wheel. What part of the chart are these planets in? The top half, the public half. Here is somebody who is going to live his entire life before the public. Uh, the uh, Queen Victoria, I believe, had a chart that was similar. Uh, again, we can find an important planet. In this case, we go counterclockwise again in the empty space, and Mars is the most important planet. Mars is the planet of action and energy. How did Bill Bradley get his start? As a professional basketball player. Mars, the planet of energy, it's in Taurus, tremendous persistence as well. Uh, the, uh, so here is somebody who's going to be athletic, aggressive, and enormously persistent, that Mars and Taurus, they say people with Mars and Taurus never fight. Everything is just going to be their way, so why bother to fight? At any rate, everything is at the top half of the wheel, so we have an aggressive person who's going to be before the public. Uh, now we should look at the sun sign. Uh, in this case, the sun sign is Leo. I call Leo the sign of modesty. Madonna is a Leo. Sean Penn, uh, Mick Jagger, the uh, sign of modesty. Uh, the Napoleon was a Leo. Uh, the, uh, the fact that his son sits in Leo right at the top of the chart, here is somebody who certainly doesn't mind the extra attention. Uh, but you see, we, uh, you know, we didn't have to look at the, the sun sign at this stage. Just looking at the chart, here is somebody who comes before the public, highly aggressive, uh, highly energetic. And in this case, turns out to be originally a professional athlete who went straight in for politics. Uh, the uh, similar function, similar function. Um, again, folks, always consider the entire horoscope. Let's look at the next chart. Uh, this is the chart of Noel Coward. Noel Coward has what's called a seesaw chart. Planets in two bunches, generally opposite each other. Seesaw people can see both sides of everything. Uh, and they're generally pretty good at, uh, at communications. In Noel Coward's case, he had a whole bunch of planets in Gemini and Sagittarius. The communication signs uh, made, this, uh, made this even stronger. Uh, but seesaw people tend to be artistic. They tend to be peacemakers or, uh, you know, things, things of that nature. Uh, being always able to see both sides of everything is certainly a benefit. And as I mentioned, in Noel Coward's case, it's emphasized further by all of those Gemini and Sagittarius planets. Here was a man who couldn't stop writing and performing. Uh, just constant communications, in, uh, literally until the day he died. Uh, the uh, always more than one of everything. 
Uh, now, uh, again, folks, if you have a copy of your horoscope at home, take it out and follow along. What if you don't have a copy of your horoscope? There are chart, service, uh, chart services all over the place that can get you a copy. Uh, so find a copy and follow along. Let's take a look at the next chart. This is the horoscope of uh, Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson, uh, now this is an interesting chart in another way. Everything is on the right-hand side, just about everything. All right, Saturn is on the left technically, but it's on the same sign as at the top, so it's not that far from the right-hand side. Uh, if you have a, a right-handed chart, uh, that means that uh, basically uh, other people, you'll have to depend on other people for most of your life. Uh, much more than, uh, than people normally do. And look what Wilson did. He got to be president. But how did he get to be president? First, he got to be governor of New Jersey. That had nothing to do with him. There was a reform movement. They put him in as being Mr. Clean. You know, then he got the Democratic nomination because the convention was deadlocked. That had nothing to do with him. He got the election because the Republican Party was split that year. Teddy Roosevelt was running as a bull moose. He was re-elected in 1916. California came in for him at the last minute on, guess what? A local issue that had nothing to do with him. He tried to do one thing totally on his own. He tried to get America into the League of Nations. He fell flat on his face. If you have a right-handed chart, folks, if you have uh, more than six planets on the right-hand side of your chart, your motto should be, why should I do it alone? What did God invent other people for? Uh, so this is, uh, you know, uh, this is a right-handed chart. Put your finger in the empty space again, go counterclockwise, and the first planet you come to is the sun. The sun is authority. So here was somebody who, he started out as a political scientist, uh, but, you know, one look at the chart and you could see this person's going in for administration. Uh, the sun there has to rule, and the fact that Saturn is at the top, uh, the, uh, well, Saturn is the, uh, is the ruling planet of the sun right at the top of the chart. Uh, again, career, career, career. Control, control, control. No, this is not somebody who would just be satisfied with giving lectures and writing books his entire life. Uh, again, this is why we have to consider the entire chart. We looked at the sun sign in Woodrow Wilson's case, but, uh, you know, again, it wasn't as significant. The, the sun, uh, well, we looked at it only because the sun was the, uh, the strongest planet. I know the sun isn't a planet, it's a star. We can't keep saying the sun, the moon, and the planets. We just say the planets as a sort of a shorthand notation. The sun is authority. Let's take a look at the next horoscope. 